Hibernating season is on the way for Arizona's desert tortoises, so it's time for a pre-hibernation checkup. It's important to get a health evaluation of your tortoises and box turtles before they hibernate because if they have some type of a, a respiratory issue or some pathogens, anything that might bring them down health-wise, they might not survive hibernation. Put a new set of gloves on for every tortoise so we don't spread any diseases and we don't catch anything just in case. Looks pretty good. Let's see if he's got any bladder stones. Looks pretty good. Perfect. And this guy looks good, so he'll go out for adoption and be ready to go and somebody will take him home. Yeah, on Sunday, September the 18th, we're gonna have a pre-hibernation health clinic for desert tortoises and desert box turtles. We've got several volunteer vets that are donating their time to come in and give desert, tor desert tortoises and box turtles a health evaluation. I think he's got a tick. That's what it was for. Yeah. Right there. Anybody that has a desert tortoise that they hibernate outdoors in their backyard, it's a good idea to bring it into the vet a veterinarian at least once a year for a health exa examination. We built them out of the nice steel and wired plastic. Just as important as making sure your tortoise is healthy before hibernation, owners should ensure their enclosures are prepared as well. To prepare your enclosure for, hiber for your hibernating tortoise, you want to make sure that your tortoise shelter is on higher ground than the rest of your yard so it can't accidentally flood. And if possible, you might want to cover the entrance with a light towel or a t-shirt or even some fluffed up hay to kind of keep it a little bit warmer for the tortoise. Each year, the Tortoise Adoption Program processes and adopts between three to 400 desert tortoises. For more information on this or the pre-hibernation clinic, visit azgfd.gov.